Uh, I was into, you know, working out when I was, you know, five and six years old. A lot of that was uh, my older brother, really, just, you know, when he was around, he would, you know, kind of do the big brother thing, he kind of hit me in my chest a little bit, you know, and yeah. he better not cry, you know, he'd tell me, like, he better not cry. And, uh, and he'd do push-ups with me, you know, every day, and, you know, I'd be watching cartoons or something like that, and he'd be like, hey, man, every, every time there's a commercial, you know, do some push-ups, hit some sit-ups, and then it kind of became like a, like a, uh, you know, like a routine for me. It's like something that I, that I would always do. I take all the clothes off the rack in my closet and do pull-ups and stuff like that. And so, you know, I just started doing it at a young age, you know, my what's family. You, what's your brother's name? Lonnie. Lonnie. Yeah. And he was all, how much older? Uh, he, he, he passed away before I got drafted. Hmm. So he would have been, uh, he would have been, uh, I think he would have been 38 now. So about 13, 13 or 14 years old. What happened? Was. Uh, he, was, he was murdered. I don't know really all the details of it, but you know he was he was just out one night and 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 uh, and uh, got into a confrontation and you know guy you know guy pulls out a a weapon and, and uses it on him you know and so you know so he had a shot yeah mm -hmm. so this is right before you were drafted right before I was drafted I was uh, this was right before the draft did you, you done anything to kind of honor him during your career or? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, certain guys have different things, whether it be tattoos, yeah. points to the sky. What do you do? Yeah, I, I, well, I lost. So I, I uh, tapped my chest twice. You know, because like I mentioned, he used to hit, he used to hit me right. in my chest when I was young. You know, and I couldn't cry. So, you know, before I game, I'll tap my chest, but I'll do it twice. Okay. Uh, because I, I lost my sister as well. So it's Lonnie, Trina, and then I point up to the sky. What happened to your sister? One of those. Chet and mess. Oh. Yeah. And you've uh, had a full. Uh, uh, yeah, it's tough, you know, but it's life. It's just a part of, uh, part of growing and learning, and uh, it's just some things you can't control. Uh, but it's all about how you respond to, to uh, adversity and negative things, you know. When did when did you lose her? I was five. It was it was hard, you know, because she she went from. You know, being this spectacular basketball player to uh, not being able to, you know, do much for herself at all, and so it's a it's a very tough experience, especially when you're the mother and the father uh, going through it. It was tough for my brother, my mm -hmm. older brother, because they were, you know, they're like twins. You know what I mean? Only about a year apart, year and a half apart. So, um, you know, but like I said, it's just about how you, you know, how you respond. I get a lot of my strength from my father. My father can, can uh, he's handled some of the biggest storms in his life, and he's been able to um, adapt to a lot of things, and he's been able to pass on that knowledge to me, and uh, you know, give me some of that strength and some of that ability to cope with really anything that 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 comes your way, good, bad, or indifferent. You feel like you can eventually become a, a, the feature back here. I mean, you know, if it's in God's plan, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, God willing, you know, I can, uh, I can be that guy for this football team and and uh, and do it for years to come. You know, all the things have to have to, you know, fall in the right place. Um, but I, I, you know, I can only focus on things I can control. And what I can control is how hard I work today, how much I study today. You know, and when tomorrow comes, I worry about tomorrow and worry about how hard I worked that day and, and how much I studied that day and how much I was able to get my teammates around me better that day. You know what I mean? We only focus on the now. If I do that, the future will take care of itself. All right, let's get back to your original question. Okay. I, I saw there's a Facebook page called uh, Robert Turbin's Biceps. <laughs> who, do, you, do you know who put that no, thing I out there? I have no idea. Do you, do you like the fact that people are like... I, I see